you people joining from different parts of the world, just remember, make some space and uh, dance with me. You uh, might hear some little voice in the background, it's my son. Uh, but I'm, uh, because I'm gonna play some music, I think we'll be fine, okay? Um, my classes, I teach people Latin dance, but in the social context, okay? I'm not gonna teach you choreographies or anything like that. I want everyone that I teach, I want them to be the best dancer they can be in a social environment or for themselves. It doesn't matter if you're, you know, around people, but it's not about performing or choreographies. I teach people to develop their rhythm, their body control, and their confidence. So, because it's all about confidence, right? If you're confident, you can do more. Also, I don't stick with any style, all right? Because how cool it is when you go to a party and you can dance with anyone, right? If you can dance with people that dance on one or two, casino, anything, all right? So, based on how I grow up, you know, dancing, Latin music, I teach you that, okay? It's about having fun, it's about um, connect with yourself, connect with the music, connect with other people, be able to dance with anyone, okay? So that's my class, that's what it, my class is about, okay? I'm from Colombia, I say originally, so my accent is different. I hope you can understand, if you have any questions, just Give me a message and I'll try to reply, okay? So we're gonna go from the very, very basic to more difficult things, okay? So first thing um, that I want you to know is your balance, okay? Your posture when you dance. You need to be relaxed, but also you need to understand that when we dance, we shift weight, um, from side to side all the time, okay? For each step, okay? For each step, we need to balance. We need to balance the weight. So we're gonna start with this exercise first. I hope it's easy for you. If not, just remember, it's just like if you stand in one leg and then you stand in the other one, and then you start switching your weight from one side to another, okay? So if you're a beginner, it will be easy for you. If you're advanced, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but still, everything will help you to become a better or a great social dancer, okay? So let's do this exercise first. Two, 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 okay? So just to balance, all right? Excellent. If you don't know how we can salsa music, remember, as a dancer, we count in groups of eight, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, all right? So why? Because it's the number of beats that we take to do one step, all right? Don't forget, the beat four and the beat eight, we, we use it to switch uh, steps or to transition, okay? It's very important that you don't forget this pose, Otherwise, your dancing is going to look robotic, you know, some people do this and it's because they are not posing, it's like a pose, like a little pose, alright? Uh, if you know what I mean, I do, for, we're going to start with the basic side to side, we do one, two, three, four, the pose, five, six, seven, okay? So we're going to start, uh, for the people, if you've been learning dancing on two or something, we're gonna, I'm gonna start stepping on one, all right? It's, like as I say, we start with that one and then you can try other styles, all right? So you can dance with anyone and you understand the music and you understand everything so you can dance with anyone. So let's start with that one. So we do one, two, three, stop, five, six, seven, eight. Why I speak about the balance at the beginning? Because Look what I'm doing here, okay? I'm balance my body. Because may, maybe some people just do this and it looks like that, all right? Why? Because they leave the way in this leg. So that's when it starts looking um, a little bit funny. So I will help you to know 
how to get into bad habits when you start dancing, okay? Latin dance, balance, okay? So just remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, okay? Excellent. So let's keep those things in mind. Balance and pose. Beat four and beat eight are poses, okay? We pose. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and, all right? How are we going? We're gonna try, we're gonna do this intro and then we try with music, okay? So don't go anywhere, stick with me. Uh, let me check. Excellent. Just let me know how you're going. And if you're paying attention, good. All right, so let's do it again for the side to side step. This is the basic salsa step, side to side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and. Excellent. Balance and counting, all right? Why the counting is important? Because it's your rhythm, all right? It's how you're gonna feel the music, how you're gonna understand it, and how you're gonna be able to dance. Me being a social dancer, I don't care if people spin me or do things or get crazy. As long as they can keep the beat of the song, I'm happy because I can connect with the person and I can connect with the music and I can just do one step. I don't care. I always dance with different levels because what I'm looking for when I dance is rhythm. Is that they can keep the beat of the song, the tempo but they're precise in that one because that's the happiness. You can do anything, but if you don't have rhythm, so we develop it, we develop the rhythm with the counting, okay? And also the feeling, it's very important. Excellent. Uh, another very important thing when you're dancing, arms, okay? So some people when they start dancing, uh, they forget about arms. And it's normal, of course it's normal because dancing, it's a mind and body connection. You need to be very conscious of all your parts of your body, okay? You need to make sure that you're um, standing up, that you're engaging all the parts of your, of your um, body. So arms. If you're dancing with me here, just keep your arms here, all right? No here, no here. Don't forget about them, all right? Keep it here. And they will move naturally when you step, I'm not moving my arms here. Da, da, da. But look, they are moving, but they, I keep them engaged. Forearm raise in line, and here. Da, 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 da. See, no problem with that one. Keep your arms in here. Don't forget about it. All right. It's very important. That technique, technique is over styling, you know? So technique first, the style after, right? And what I mean with technique is all those little tips. Balance, balance, the pose, the rhythm, okay? Because again, yeah, you do this and you do that, but you're off beat. It's hard to dance with someone that is off beat. If you're doing Doing it by yourself, that's fine, you know? Everyone can have fun. If you don't know how to dance and you want to have fun with the music, that's fine. But if you're dancing with someone, and also the rhythm is the, the bridge between you and the music, right? So if that is cut, it's hard. Connection with rhythm, all right? So let's do it again, basic step. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one thing. Some people come one, two, three, five, six, seven. They don't say the four and the eight. Why this is good, why this is bad, okay? Um good if you know that the four and the eight is something, it's the pulse. Bad if you miss it. Some people that I teach, they count one, two, three, five, six, seven, and they think that the four and the eight doesn't exist. So they do this, all right? So make sure that you know that there is a pause there. You can say 
One, two, three, pose, five, six, seven, pose. One, two, three, pose, five, six, seven, pose. So you know that that four and that, that eight is there, all right? Excellent. Why, how do you can start progressing your steps when you're dancing? Let's move to the other basic. Step back, okay? Basic back, back, step back. So you're stepping back. Back and back. Same thing. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? Same thing. Side, balance. Step back, balance. Tip. Don't make your steps too big, okay? Some people do this, extremely big, extremely big steps. Or keep it smaller, why? Because when you keep them smaller, you can move your hips a little bit more. And always try to keep this um, motion, bending one leg and the other one, all right? So, you can do that exercise with one music, you play one song that you like it, and then you just feel it and keep the rhythm like that, okay? So just little, 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 okay? So one, two, three, five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven, back, one, two, three, five, six, seven, arms, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Third step, step forward and forward, okay? So we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Excellent. Next step, forward and back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, and remember when you're dancing with someone, the guys start with the left in front of you, and you're gonna start with your right with a step back. Okay? Uh, this is a rule that was created for to have like a like a point of reference or of a star, you know. But in reality, if you go to a social Latin night in Latin America, no, no one cares, right? Why? Because you just feel the music and probably the girl is going to start first or the guy starts and the other one follows, okay? If they have the rhythm because it's easy, okay. He starts a step, the girl starts a step and then they start dancing. So it's a rule really as a point of reference, but if in a real social situation wouldn't be a problem okay because the idea is that you can dance with anyone as long as you got the rhythm okay so for this one we're gonna start i'm starting with my left you're right there if you're facing me so we're gonna do forward with one leg and back with the other one the same one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight okay so we check four steps, basic ones. Back, back, side to side, step back, forward, forward, and forward and back, okay? Those four steps. So when you start dancing, you can get away with those four, all right? Let me check, let's check who is going. Yes. Well, okay, Fatima is, is um, tell me that it's a great breakdown. And now we're gonna try with the music, don't worry, okay? So now we're gonna that, try those four steps with music, okay? Let's see.
Do it again.
So how you can vary these basic steps side to side, very basic, but now you know your rhythm, remember practice your rhythm with marching, just feel the music, feel the music. If you saw a video the other day, this girl, um, that she's deaf, explain to us how she, she, how she uh, feels the music, all right? So she feels the vibration of the, of the sound of the song that she's dancing and it's how, how she feels it, all right? So she cannot get wrong, actually, that's great. So you can also make sure that you, you're able to feel the music and start dancing, okay? So how do you variate the step? For example, this one, side to side, we can variate it by crossing the step. What I mean with that is one, two, three, pose, five, six, seven, pose. One, two, three, pose, five, six, seven, pose. Instead of getting back here together in the middle in the pose, I cross it. Okay? Ba, 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 ba. So it looks better. All right? So doesn't matter if you if you want to stick with the basics, it's fine. Remember, the most important thing is freedom over styling, over everything. Because freedom is what it uh, allows you to dance with anyone. And that's what we want, right? We're like, no, I don't dance on one, I don't dance on two, I don't dance casino. No, 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 you want to dance with everyone. It's like your style. Develop your own style, worry for, uh, about that instead of you know, worry about looking to someone else or, or, you know, get into a box. Dance with anyone, all right? Be that dancer that is able, that is adaptable, that is able to dance with anyone, all right? So let's do that one, all right? So I do, I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See that I first go here to switch my weight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, okay? Excellent. How do you vary the step back? You can vary it with a cha-cha-cha in the middle. It's not about cha-cha-cha, but it's more the movement. It's not the same as cha-cha-cha, but it's about the movement, okay? The triple step, let's call it triple step there, okay? So we do one, two, triple step, five, six, triple step. So now the pose became an extra step. All right, so one, two, triple step, five, six, triple step, one, two, triple step, five, triple step, okay? You can add that one actually in this one too. Five, five, triple step. So all those variations, you can use it actually with each step, all right? You can add side to side, triple step, or cross it, all right? Or you can go back, cha cha cha. Cha cha cha. All right. Forward and forward. You can add a tap. One, two, tap in. One, two, tap in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, in. One, two, three, four. I'm add, I'm adding a tap in the step. Okay. Instead of going here, I do one. Sorry. One, two, tap in. One, two, tap in. One, two, tap in. Okay. Forward and back. Same. Cha cha cha. Okay. Or what I call side to side. Okay. It's forward and back, but I go, I'm pausing here a little. Ba, ba, cha cha cha. So I do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I do um, what they call it in ballet. I, uh, uh, pole change, I, call, I think it's what they call it. I took ballet classes for adults to improve my technique, but um, I forgot some. <laughs> but anyway, that's why you do one, two, cha cha cha, ba, ba, cha cha cha. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So let's do it with music, alright? Because we're, we're going. With the time. Excellent. Let's do it with the music. Where are we going? Where are we going? I'm 
still here. Okay. Start with the music. Start with this song. Remember, freedom over everything. The clave.
line so you guys can see it. Uh, okay, so for the last part of the, of the class, I'm just going to teach you something that is very common in people who dance. And it is spins, alright? Usually some people have good rhythm, they can stay on beat, but when they spin, they lose it, right? I'm just going to teach you two basic turns, which is actually uh, two basic turns that you can apply in with the different steps that we just saw. You can actually do uh, these two spins for each step. But the trick of the steps of the spins is to keep the beat, keep dancing. Don't stop, don't do anything different. Just what you're doing is that you have to control more because you are, you know, spinning. Right? So for example, the most uh, basic and used one is the one that we do at the front. Guys can also do it, but usually the guys do it uh, switching the hands of the girls when they spin. And usually for us, they just raise the arm as an indication that they want us to spin. Right? So, uh, but it's the same as that. So I'm going to explain it. So, uh, it's this one, okay? We take eight counts to spin, to step. We do the spin in those eight counts. What I mean with that is, let's say we're gonna do the basic one. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yes, one, two, three, because we start at the back. If we're gonna start at the back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four. And now we're gonna spin. Five, six, seven eight see i didn't do i didn't do that or i didn't do and it took me more to spin i got in the middle ready to start my one at the back if i'm starting with that one if you're dancing with someone that is real like if you're learning and then you're like okay my reference is that i'm gonna start with my right as a girl with my right at the back ah, let's don't say as a girl as a follower okay because Sometimes I dance with the girls and I'm gonna be the, the leader or sometimes girls ask me to us and I, I am gonna be the, the follower, okay? So if you are the leader, you start with your left um, with your left forward and girls and followers start back, okay? So we're gonna do that one for followers. One, two, three, four. Five, six, see, I'm almost ready to rotate. Seven, eight. All right, I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna do it here so you can see it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and three. Very precise. Remember the rhythm. Is there, is there, and it's constant, consistent, precise. You cannot speed it, uh, speed it up, or if the music changes, of course you can, but if not, you need to be very precise to be able to do anything. I call it rhythm, but all the people like the musicality. You know, some people is very precise, or they, they've been listening to the same song many times, so they know where it's gonna hit, but they have that control, okay? And that's rhythm. So let's do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, speed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, speed. Okay? So, uh, that's the basic one. And also you can do side to side. Same one. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's the same step, the same spin, but side to side, okay? There is another one, but we're going to start as a leader. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, sorry, as a follower. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, three, four, five, six, seven, and so this one takes a little bit more of time. When you're stepping forward, you go back here and then you step again and go in here. Alright, so we do 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and okay. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and all right. And for the leaders, the leaders too. That one is the same for the leaders over here, but it's actually the same. It's just that they they change their hands from the back. It's a way to do it. If you learn your rhythm, you can be super creative. You can do anything, but you need to have that control. Rhythm, body control, and confidence that you can do it, okay? That's, that's just the three things that I always teach. It's because they are the most important when you dance. You don't really, because what happens is when you go and learn choreographies, instead you are on the dance floor, you forgot one more, that's it. You get frustrated and you're like, oh, how was it? I forgot. And you start trying, trying too hard to do it. And then, no, 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 just be creative. Keep the rhythm, enjoy. All right? But you have to have the control to do it. Okay? Let's try the spins with the music. Alrighty.
It's a long, it's a long link. I forgot to. Oh, why? Why are you showing it like that now? Don't, don't, don't get scared. Just click on the link that is. I know it's a, a long link, but it's it's safe. I'm just gonna. Oh, yeah, you can see it from 
will leave you. No, that's all right. You can see it there. Thank you so much. Um, stay happy, stay healthy, keep dancing. Uh, see you next time. I'm gonna just start off the video. Bye bye.